walking along and it's not four leaf clover I see, but a butterfly wing. So this red admiral fed a bird or a bat. The wings don't have any nutrient content in them. So they let them fall to the ground like confetti. So a bit of butterfly confetti. I always find it fascinating walking across the field and finding dead man's fingers. You see, they're coming up out of the ground right there next to that bit of manure. Look at that. It means there's a bit of wood under there or something. They're really soft. They're amazing little mushrooms or fungi or whatever you want to call them. But those are dead man's fingers and a good sign of a healthy biodiversity, aren't they? What's those? Did you see those? Those are mushrooms. Yeah. You clever girl. They're so amazing. Dead man's fingers. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> you clever girl. Yeah. <laughs> now everybody's going to stomp all over them. Okay, I better take the dogs away so they don't stomp all over the dead man's fingers. <laughs> I've just been out here fencing the horses, moving their paddock grazing. They're up there under the trees. There's a rain is beginning to fall. Not very far away. Some more fungi, beautiful little yellow ones. Look at those. And you can see in amongst the clover, tiny baby ones coming up. They're beautiful. And more here, you can see underneath the foliage. You know you have healthy land when you have lots of different fungi. So that's the second one and I wasn't even looking for them. And the dead man's fingers are literally, I think just in that vicinity there. You can see, look, there are the horses again. You can see I haven't moved very much sideways at all. Horses are right there. So second set of fungi growing. Such a beautiful yellow. Horses are there. And here, next to the manure pile, is another mushroom or fungi. They're all coming out. So that's three. One there, one somewhere in there, and one somewhere over there. And there's probably more that I'm not noticing. These are only the ones I've just in literally a number of yards. I've discovered, and the, there are the horses again. And there are the horses. I've just moved along the field. Mustard's coming down to say hello. And the rain is beginning to fall. And here is another mushroom, another different variety. Yes, kitty. Oh, you're gonna step on the mushroom. Oh, yes, your head knocked my phone. Come here, kitty. What's up? It's wet. I know. It's very wet. His head bumped into the phone. So we thought I was, I hit him and I didn't. His head bumped into the phone. Anyway, there. So that's four different kinds of mushrooms. You can see the horses are there. And I've just come, yeah, maybe, maybe 25 yards, if that. And that's biodiversity, isn't it? You good boy. Yes, you're so good. And yes, you're so good. And yes, you're so good. You're all so good. 
Oh, yes, you're so good. Oh. <laughs> yes, you're so good. Yes, you're so good. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in before I get too wet and get my morning coffee. The horses have now been sorted. And they're having a nice time in the shade. Out of the shelter, out of the rain, under those horse chestnut trees. 